today we're going to troubleshoot the radio on a 2015 GMC Acadia. All right, so on this GMC Acadia, we're not getting any stations whatsoever. But if we go to XM Radio, the XM Radio works. And I went ahead and turned it off because I don't want to get monetized. But uh, FM Radio doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And what we're going to do is uh, use this pry tool and just stick it back here. And pop it open pop it open go ahead and turn off the key and it's still on because I need to open this door up and there it is we'll stick our pry tool back here all right and off this comes now the tools that we're gonna be using to get this radio out is going to be a mm, it looks like a. Or it's a 932. I can't really focus in. It's a 932 socket. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws. There's four screws, so we'll go ahead and remove all four. And just make sure you don't drop the screws. All right. After you remove all four screws, this comes off of it. So just go ahead and lay that on the side as well. And go ahead and pull out the radio. And we're just gonna inspect the back. And it looks like the antenna is not connected. So let's go ahead and look for it. The antenna should be, there it is. Looks like someone installed an aftermarket radio. Here's the adapter to it, whoops. So let's go ahead and remove this adapter. There it is, adapter is out. Now we should be able to connect the stock radio antenna back into its place. It looks like the previous owners had an aftermarket system in here. There's the RCA cables. So let's go ahead and put this radio back in. Just like so. Let's grab our key, test it out real quick. See if it works now. And let's see. I hear stations. There it is. Okay. Seems like it's working now. Like it's having a couple of problems. Yeah, I'm still having a problem. Let's make sure that's plugged in all the way. And oh shoot, the antenna wasn't in. Let's make sure the antenna is up here. It is. Let's make sure it's screwed all the way in. All right, let's see. Uh, the antenna's in there. All right. Maybe it's because we're inside the garage. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like it was picking up some stations. We're gonna put everything back together because that should have been in there and it wasn't. But that should be the fix for it. I hear some stations. Uh, now we just gotta cross our fingers and make sure it works. All right, well, there it is. I mean, it's working now. Uh, all four screws are in. Now we just gotta put this back in. See, FM, it's working. So now, we just clip this back into place, just like so. There it is. It had a little lift. And now it does it. Perfect. And we're set. And that's how you fix that. Uh, the reason we were getting radio stations is because the antenna wasn't connected on the back. 
uh, the previous owners probably had an aftermarket radio and when they got rid of the vehicle they took the radio out they didn't really care putting anything back together uh, so that's how you fix that problem just in case you're not able to get FM or AM channels make sure the radio is connected to the antenna thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell all right let's get out of here before we get kicked out